Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Bria Shade and I'm the owner of A Shade Better Furnishings. Today I'll be working on this cute mid-century modern dresser and it's probably the coolest piece I've ever gotten so I'm super excited. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace for $45 and my plan is to stand the top down, stand the legs down, do a paint wash over those and then paint the rest of it sage. Now onto the first step, which is to remove all of the hardware. This is usually where I find all sorts of things left over from previous owners. Today I found what looks like to be a cutout from a book taped to the side of a drawer. I don't know if you can read it, it's kind of blurry, but yeah, it's crazy what you'll find in dressers. Um, one time, a few months ago, I literally found $300 cash underneath the drawer liner. I brought it back to the previous owner the next day and he was so thankful. He said that he used to hide money in all of his dressers, which is kind of funny because he had just sold like all of his furniture. So I'm wondering how much money he left. But yeah, anyways, um, now I'm cleaning the dresser with some Dawn dish soap and then um, off camera, I'll go back over it with just a clean wet rag. Next up is sanding. The original finish was super shiny and thick, so it took a while to get off. I started with an 80 grit and went all the way up to a 240. The sanding montage probably makes it look quick, but I definitely spent at least two hours sanding the top of this. It took a long time. There was a large crack in the wood, so I took my favorite wood filler to fill it in. This stuff is really great because it goes on pink and then it dries natural, so it's easy to tell when it's dry. Now it's time to do a quick sand over the legs. The finish wasn't thick here, so it's really easy to get off. Can we just talk about these legs? I mean, they're literally the most beautiful furniture legs I've ever seen. I always try to look for unique furniture when I'm flipping furniture, but this is by far the most unique piece I've ever found. Finally, time to paint. I'll be using Bellwood by Fusion Mineral Paint, which is a color I've never used before. My original plan was to paint this a true sage green color, but after a big mix up and ordering the wrong color paint, here we are. This color is still beautiful though, and I'm really glad I get to try it. I usually like to paint the inside trimming by each drawer to give it a more clean look. It's an extra step, but I definitely think it's worth it.
on to the second coat. After seeing this color dry, it's definitely between the sage and the light blue. I think it's really pretty. I had my followers on Instagram vote whether or not I should keep or replace the hardware and it was almost a 50-50 split so I went with my gut and I'm keeping them. I'm spraying them with gold spray paint by Krylon and sorry for the lining but I filmed this after the sun went down so the lining is terrible. I ended up doing about three coats total of spray paint um, both on the top and then after I flipped it over and did three more on the bottom. I'll be doing another beige paint wash today on the top and the legs of this piece. If you want a more detailed explanation of how I do this, you can go back to my first video. But basically, I just mix equal proportions of paint and water and then putting it on and then wiping it off. In the morning, I did one more coat of paint on the drawers and then it was time to put the hardware on. I had my little boss come out and check the hardware and after a good inspection, I think she approves. Okay, let's get one final look at the before. It was in good condition overall, but definitely needed some updating. Here it is now. Mm -hmm. 